The supply shock for XRP truly is about to come to this market. We're seeing massive outflows to people that you don't necessarily think. In this video, we're going to break down exactly why it's important. And I've got some pretty interesting news. If you're an XRP holder, you definitely want to go stick around to the end. As ever, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Like I said, we're going to be talking all about XRP in this video, and specifically some pretty interesting things going on in the background that not a lot of people are talking about. So the overall cryptocurrency market, 2.6 trillion. We saw a pretty heavy sell-off, dropping to 68,500 on Bitcoin. But XRP booking the trend, currently up about 0.7 on the day, 62.19 the current price, with over $2.394 billion dollars worth the volume in the last 24 hours. Interesting when we see Bitcoin pull back, XRP tends to accelerate its price position and starts to move to the upside. So very good news. So what did I want to share with you on this? Well, a couple of things, really. We got a very interesting view from Santiment. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what Santiment is, it ultimately outlines top cryptocurrencies, gives you a bearish and bullish view of them, what people are talking about, whether the sentiment is ultimately good or bad. And what we did see is XRP is in the top 10 cryptocurrencies being talked about over on sentiment. Now you start to break that down. 51.72% was positive around XRP. This is good news. Even if you think about the SEC case we've got, we obviously had the AMM, the burns that are going to come, and much more feels incredibly bullish for XRP. Well, the sentiment is absolutely aligned to that. Combined with that view, the bullish summary is the main reason to be bullish on XRP are the positive sentiment and high potential seen in social media posts. Legal clarity surrounding XRP compared to other cryptocurrencies like ADA, the anticipation of a significant price increase, and ultimately the CEO's prediction on that $5 trillion market cap is absolutely aligned to what a lot of people believe. Now, again, the market is about 2.6 trillion, so we've got a long way to go, but social media is incredibly bullish about XRP. And then you start to dig underneath the surface and truly start to see what's going on. I've talked about this on this channel a number of times. Don't necessarily look directly at the price. We know that going into the Bitcoin halving, we're going to see real volatility. But sometimes it's not about today's price, but the price it's going to be in a few months time. And namely, other people see that. Quorum Network. Now, some of you might be thinking, hold on a minute, two bit. What is Quorum Network? Well, they have been buying up to 1.6 million XRP tokens. Now, in the grand scheme of things, it's not the biggest amount in the world, but look at this, 2,703% is the increase in what they've been buying. So what is the Quorum Network? Well, it is the world's first super ledger enterprise-grade blockchain solutions with smart tokens. Now, this is kind of crazy. I'm not going to go into a full detail as to exactly what it is. If you are interested, let me know in the comments down below. But Ultimately, this is what it's about. Come from the web to blockchain, spread out across a number of factors that the Quorum network supports, whether that be compliance, interoperability, speed, smart tokens, all then chucked together as a super ledger. If you start to think about what that looks like for the financial markets, this is an absolute win. So the big question, why would they be buying XRP? Well, this is all to do with the XRP bridge and the XRP ledger. Think about what we've been talking about recently recently. This is where it certainly becomes to be exciting. So says here, XRP and other assets can easily move between two networks with this bridge. Entry was limited at first, but when the bridge opened for the business on March 12th, following Corum's public launch on March 20th, the number of people holding XRP has grown by 2,287%, hitting 191. The total number of bridge XRP tokens now stands at 57,191. Very, very interesting. The reality is we see these big protocols, whether they be financial markets or just smart contract suppliers, buying XRP. It says here that 1.2 million out of 1.6 million XRP is now in liquidity pools on the Corum-based decentralized exchange Pulsara. Again, allowing people access to these. Very, very important. And again, it's combined with everything that's going on, can only be good news for XRP. And we start to see more and more of these particularly these bridges, particularly the XRPL. And I've talked a lot about why that's going to be such an important part of XRP's ecosystem. And more importantly, those tokens that launch on there and fundamentally funding Ripple rather than selling out of the escrow important. So what's going on with the price? Well, again, we're seeing some nice green shoots. Again, MACD is crossed, RSI in the middle and a nice upward trend over the course of the last seven or eight days. Now, we are going to hit some resistance around 64 cents. We need to break above that and then start to push into the higher levels around 67 and then higher to the 70 cents mark. But overall, 1% up on the day, XRP is starting to look very bullish. Above the 50-day simple moving average, 
again, is very good news. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think? What do you think of the fact that we're seeing XRP flowing into maybe things you didn't know about? And if you want to see a full in-depth view on that Quorum network, let me know by hitting the like button. Drop a comment, as always, down below. It does help out the channel and makes me know that you enjoy this type of content. And until the next video, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you very soon. Take care.